from Great Britain. The, the airplane's open in the box? Okay. Box. Open the box. The lights. The lights went off. She lights. It's dark. Okay. There's a letter from Kev. Kev. Yep. Oh, don't throw the letter. Oh, the wait, wait. There's, There's a truck. truck over there. Well, <laughs> so we got this one and this one. Uh, this one. Says to open these first. Well, he opened the truck here. The tr truck? There's an awesome truck. My uh, son truck. just, he owns that one already. Truck. 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 That is truck. awesome. This says no miles on it. No miles. Mm -hmm. The time traveling machine. A teeny tiny, teeny tiny little. Watch baby out! Car. Right, look at that, a little teeny baby car. Teeny baby car. A baby car. A baby time machine. Oh, and it rolls. Oh. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! It's a DeLorean. DeLorean. Back to the future. Whoa, Frank. Check that out. Hey, truck. Baby truck. A baby car. A baby time machine. That is so cute. Heck, that one fits in the hauler. That is awesome! <laughs> I actually have a little coin collection, but I almost sold it. And here is a lucky penny. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> oh, no way. Oh, my gosh, Frankie, baby, look at that thing. Baby time. Yeah, oh. and here's the little, little baby time machine. <laughs> now let's check out the truck. Check this truck out. This truck is awesome. Wow. Okay, so we're over there playing, you know, checking out all our cool toys. And now I finally figure out what the red carpet is. I didn't get to read everything yet. So. Check this out. In true Vegas style. A red carpet. Rolling out. My son's playing with this. I have no idea that there is another special car in here. Look at this. Ho, oh, ho, 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 ho. Another cool Camaro. Here's a Z28. Oh, 1982. So this is really, this is the kind of stuff I had. 1982 is like the year I was collecting. Like this is probably a Camaro that I had and I did not uh, recover. This is awesome. Again, oh my gosh, what a cool, awesome way to give me an amazing car. The red carpet. Yeah, 
the red carpet. Look at that. Awesome. That's the little time machine. Baby car. He calls it the baby car. The baby car. Thank you. Close it up. Close it up. Here is the miniature time machine from Back to the Future, the DeLorean. And um, we have something planned with this, and it's going to be fun. So look out for that. This is a 1973 Matchbox Lesney Piston Popper Rollomatics. And I didn't even know anything about these. Um, but when you roll them, the engine pops up and down and moves and makes a cool sound and stuff. Really fun, cool stuff. I really love this. I, I didn't even know they made such a thing. This is so cool. You know, really the best part of this was getting all the pictures and the letter and, you know, a little story that came with this car so I just wanted to read you the letter about this car the cool Camaro Z28 race champion model Camaro Z28 by Hot Wheels uh, made in 1982 in Hong Kong purchased at Castle Market in Sheffield it was purchased in 1985 for about 50 pence the wheels are gold black walls with uh, white paint, and purple, red, and yellow tampos. History. It had one brutal owner. It was the champion of many races on dirt, track, concrete, and even won a few destruction derbies with my granddad. Despite fierce competition from an array of different cars, from Matchbox, Majorette, Corgi, and a few other Hot Wheels, and even a vintage Lesney, Aston Martin, which was my father's. I think that's where she learned her maneuvers from. And now its new owner, Frank Catron of Frank's Kids. Sign, Kevin, previous owner. And then another thing I got, which was really cool, is all of these pictures that show the car saying goodbye to all its friends, its other cars, back in England before it took the trip to its new home here in Las Vegas. So I'll show you those pictures. But I wanted to, um, wanted to read you the letter that came with this because really the letter and stuff like that is really just the greatest part of this. Dear Frank, Firstly, a massive hello from England, and my apologies for not being able to send this little gift box sooner, and for my poor handwriting. I had to do this, do it this way, as I'm not the best with computers, and my email wouldn't let me send such a long message. I'd like to tell you about the first video I came across of yours, which was the one about why we collect. Well, you ne nearly had me in tears at your loss of your old precious cars and made me want to find mine before my mom had one of her little clear outs. So I panicked and went over to hers and searched my parents' attic high and low until I finally found them all still there together in one big box, real Goonie style. Well, when I gave them to my son after sneaking a few of my personal favorites out, it was like all his Christmases had come at once. He has to take his favorite cars everywhere with him, just like I used to. I have so many stories about my cars, I couldn't possibly tell them all in this letter without my pen running out. I have a really good feeling about your channel, as it seems everyone else is enjoying your videos too. I really enjoyed your informative talks on the state cars and the road trip in series. I even went and got a hold of the Death Valley Dodge just because I liked it. 
I hope you like the cool Camaro and the other things I sent you. I just couldn't let the Camaro go without a new bling bling hauler to take her to her new home in the sun. It would really make my day to see her on the Vegas Strip, Route 66, or Route 375 near the mailbox. That's the extraterrestrial highway, which, yeah, we will take her. <clears throat> and um, anyway, good luck with your hunting and hauling and for your channel. And thanks again for your great videos. Sincerely, Kevin. Friend and fellow diecast enthusiast. Awesome. I just wanted to show you a couple of these pictures. These came in the box. This is the attic haul from Kevin's parents. And I guess uh, one of my videos is the reason he went and tracked all these awesome cars down and saved them from the um, garage sale or whatever they were going to do probably with them. And that's awesome that at least someone's able to find their old cars. That is great. Here is the um, cool Camaro and the um, Lesney Piston Popper saying Bon Voyage, or well, all the cars are saying Bon Voyage to them before they make their trip. The car is about to get in the red carpet hauler and make its trip to uh, Las Vegas. This is a picture of Kev's dad's old Lesneys. They did take a beating, but they're still there, and at least he's got them, and that's great. This is a picture of Kevin's three vintage Hot Wheels. Of course, you see the cool Camaro Z28, which is now mine, and it's just, that's just really great to think that someone would give up one of their three best cars and send it to me, and that, that just means a lot right there. Um, and then you see the red line, beatnik bandit, and a sheriff patrol. So, um, I promise the Camaro will have a, a good happy home here. This one's my favorite picture in the group because it has the bus there saying Bon Voyage. It says, you love New York. And I will be taking the Camaro to New York after I take him on the strip in Vegas. And look at that, all the Lesney surrounding the bus. Also saying bon voyage to their old friend. Um, when I got into this hobby, I didn't really know about all that stuff and what would come along with it. And to think that someone would reach into their collection and give me one of their best cars and that it's a car that I may have had. It's probably a car I own that I didn't recover, that I lost, was taken from me actually. And, um, you know, around 1985, 86 was like the height of when I was collecting. And, um, but I don't remember any of the cars that were taken from me. Like, you know, I, maybe if I saw them, I would start to remember them, but the truth is I really don't. And, uh, you know, when I got into this hobby, I didn't expect anything like this. I didn't know anything of an or random act of kindness. And uh, I have to say that, you know, just getting this just makes me want to do the same. And I know that when you do these kind of things, it does come back to you, you know, more, way more than that, you know, you get... You, you'll get yours in the end. And um, I just have to say, like, it's become, you know, more than a toy car now and um, more than a box, you know. you actually meeting some great people out there and that's become, like, something that's just worth more than all the cars put together. So I really appreciate it and, you know, thank you so much.